so I have our congenital diaphragmatic hernia pre-delivery checklist. Let's just go over it quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have obtained the history, and then I'll continue to do documentation. Okay, it looks like I've set up most of all the equipment uh, behind us there. Yeah, and I've got the solutions ready to go from the pumps. Uh, I've assembled the transducers, and I've contacted pharmacy for medications. Okay, sounds good. Okay, Ron, so I have our congenital diaphragmatic hernia uh, respiratory checklist. So I can just go through it. Um, I'll assist with the intubation, so I'll be part of the airway management. Okay, I'll take care of setting up the conventional ventilator, turning on the graphics, getting the jet ready, and the nitric is here, and I'll tee that in. Okay, and I'm just going to double check the mouse mills are on and disconnected with uh, two probes available. And I'll also get the um, inline suction available and just go through and check the equipment. Great. Ready to go. All right, perfect. So everybody has their individual checklist completed? Yes. Okay. We can review the history when the PEDS gets here. And get an estimate of the fetal weight. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. That's good. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Um, so um, maybe we can start with identifying so we can make sure that everyone is all here who needs to be here. Okay. Okay. So would you like to start? Sure. So I'm Monica, recess nurse two. I have the history here and I'll be in charge of documentation. Uh, so we have a 33-year-old G2P1 at 38 weeks gestation. Serology is negative and she's GBS negative. Gestational diabetes, diet controlled. She re received regular antenatal visits. Congenital diaphragmatic hernia was found at 20 weeks ultrasound. MRI was done at 32 weeks, which shows the liver in the abdomen. She received two doses of antenatal steroids about three days ago. Plan was for induction later this week, but labor started early this morning and she ruptured her membranes about one hour ago. So thank you for that. The only other thing I'd like to add is I did see this family prenatally, oh. and uh, the fetal assessment report also sh showed that the lung head ratio was 1.2 to 1, and there were no uh, signs of hydrops fatalis. So this baby, we expect, should be in relatively good condition. Okay. Okay. And I'm Lindsay. I'm a recess nurse. I'll be hands-on today. I'm David from NICU. I'll be looking after the IVs and medications. I'm Alita, a respiratory therapist, and I'm going to assist with the intubation. I'm Ron, I'm the second respiratory therapist, and I'll be in charge of the conventional ventilator, the jet, as well as the nitric oxide. I'm Nicole, I'm the nurse practitioner. Uh, I will be putting in the emergency UVC. I'm Yasser, I'm a doctor, I'm, uh, I will do the intubation as, as soon as the baby comes in. I'm Jared from pharmacy, and as per discussions before, I've got infusions of dopamine, morphine, and dibutamine ready to go, as well as the uh, first doses of midazolam and rocuronine. Yeah, thank you. Okay, and I'm Michael. I'm the neonatologist on the team, and I just wanted to run through. Uh, my role will be to be an event coordinator. We have uh, everyone's roles have been identified, and so I will uh, coordinate the efforts as we uh, move to resuscitate this infant. One of the most important things will be um, doing things in an expeditious manner without this baby taking a lot of breaths. So to that end, uh, we'd like to begin with Yasser. You said that you would do the endotracheal intubation, so we'll have you do that first, and ideally before this baby uh, begins breathing. And then the next thing that will be important is getting that OG down and placed to suction so that we can decompress uh, the bowel that's in the chest. The next step will be after we have the intubation done and the OG in place and the t endotracheal tube um, secured, then, Nicole, it'll be very important for you to come in and get that umbilical venous catheter in, okay? As far as the medications go, the first thing that I know I will do is um, ask you to um, provide some rocuronium that Jared has uh, prepared for us. And then we'll give some midazolam and some fentanyl to keep um, this infant nicely sedated and uh, free of any pain. As far as whether we'll use the other medications um, that were mentioned, dopamine, dibutamine, and even nitric oxide or the jet, we'll have to see how the infant is right after our resuscitative efforts. Okay. Is that, is that, is that, has X-ray been notified? Um, I did notify X-ray, and um, thank you for asking that question. And also, I took the liberty of notifying the surgeon on call. Okay. It's not urgent that they be here for the delivery because, as we know, the m main issues that we will be facing are ventilation and pulmonary vascular resistance. Okay. okay. So an X-ray is going to be waiting outside. Right? They'll be right outside. Perfect. Yeah. So, are there any questions? No. No. We're all clear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have the baby here. Yeah, so you... Flat, do not stimulate. 
Okay, yeah, so you're going to take the head and do the intubation? Yes, I would take that. And Nicole, you've got the UVC? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I'll be the event I have coordinator. Three and a half endotracheal tube. Okay. Okay, leads are on. Okay. Three ductal stats are on. Tube is in. Stylet out. We have a CO2 detector. Both ductals are on. Color change. Color change. There's mist in the tube. Okay, great job, Yasser. Thank you. Okay, it's equal bilaterally. Eight Are you ready for the ventilator? Yes, please. Okay. We have three and a half mLs per kilo mm -hmm. and a PIP6, a rate of 50. That's right. That's all right. That's good. Oh, and our saturations are very good right now. Okay. All right. And I'm just going to stabilize the tube. Don't check the level. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're about nine and a half at the lip. Oh, that's good. Okay. We have 20, 20 mLs of air pulled. Okay. So as soon as they get that taped, I'll come in for the uh, UV. Monica, do you have the rocuronium, the fentanyl, and the medazolam ready? Yes, for after. Ready. Okay, so after she gets the UVC and we'll give the medications, okay? Okay. Just double check. Yep. So, Monica, we have a three and a half, and it's nine and a half at the lip. Okay. And I'll just have one more listen before you start cleaning. So, Lindsay, I'll give this to you. You can just hold the clamp up. Perfect. I'm going to clean it. Okay. Turn perfect. Okay. Equal air entry. And the saturations remain really good. So great teamwork so far, guys. So I'm just going to drink it now. I'm going to put the second drape on, and I'm actually just going to go under your mm -hmm. arm. Try not to touch anything. So I'm going to put it in just till I get blood return. Going in the UV. It's about five centimeters. Let's try here. So I have blood return. Okay, wonderful. So Monica, if you want to get the rocuronium.